It's time to rebuild this team in fire. Brian Pace and Matt Nagy. Man, what the heck is going on with the Bears? And man, we lose to a team that is two and five now. They won. Now the three and five. You know, now we're gonna be playing against the Eagles next weekend, and who knows if we're gonna even be five. We're gonna lose five games in a row, man. And it's all on Matt Nagy, man. We, I knew it. We should not let him have the play, give him the keys for the play calling because he's horrible. And then you let the ball, you ran the clock, and, and, Eddie, and Eddie Pinero screws it up. After you, you lived and died with his kicks, you know what? When you needed him, Fucking, he fucks up everything, you know. We knew this was going to happen, and now it's just totally embarrassing. We lost to the Chargers that are 2-5. and five. We don't know what. Uh, man, this place is like a revolving door, man, with quarterbacks. Because the damn can't draft a quarterback in this town. Ryan Pace and Ted Phillips need to be fired. I'm sick and tired of Ted Phillips. Man, he's been with the Bears organization forever. And it's time for him to go. And George, you need to fire him, you know. And I don't know why you let him. Brian Pace hire Matt Nagy. He's a terrible. He's a one-hit wonder. He was oh, the coach of the year last year. And this year, he stunks the place up. Man, I'm sick and tired of supporting this team and you know what I'm, I'm i'm gonna stick with the bears i mean i was born in this city i'm not gonna abandon the bears i'm gonna die as a bears fan for life i'm not like a bandwagon like some other fans that will go on to other teams I'm, but i'm my frustration with this team is you know what it's wall the pain tin town and Jim McMahon Town. It's the Monsters of Midway Town. No, I'm not afraid to say. Miss, we moved all up and we gave, we we passed on Mahomes and Deshaun Watson to get this piece of crap quarterback, Miss Abisky. And, you know, we drafted a quarterback from a, a team that does not even have a good football organization. They're known for basketball. North Carolina is not known for football. Man, now who, who's going to be the next quarterback they're going to be talking about? Who's going to come into this town? Like, we can't, can't afford these players that they go that they like Teddy Bridgewater. He wants, he's probably going to ask for too much money. And then, and then you're trying to get Nick Foles. We cannot get him because the Jaguars already owed him too much money. So if we get him, we're going to have to, we have to live with it. We know I have to pay him, you know. And who knows? He, he might even be worse, you know. But, man, this is like... I'm so sick and tired of, you know, paying for this crap. You know, I have so many jerseys that I supported this team. And Khalil Mack, he's my favorite player. And this guy, Mr. Trubisky, stinks up the joint, man. I mean... No, we can't get a decent, a decent quarterback. I mean, the stupid Packers could get at least two. I mean, they could pick two good quarterbacks. You know, Brett Favre and now Aaron Rodgers. And we can't even pick one. We only could get Jim McMahon. He's the only one that didn't win in this team. You know, and that is the damn Madden curse, man. That screwed up. Ever give, since they gave... Mac the 99 ratings man everything was going downhill same thing with the Rams with Aaron Donalds they're not doing the, the Rams are not doing the good any like last year you know and I don't know man we even have a shot to beat the Eagles I bet you they're gonna ups, upset us I bet you any money I bet you that oh uh, Jordan Howard is gonna is gonna run all over this old line and you know what he's gonna stick it up to her 
stick it. And I hope he sticks it right in front of Matt Nagy and get gets what he deserves, you know. You gave away Joe Howard, get Mike Montgomery, and you don't even use something in there and stop don't run the ball. I'm just thinking, you know, like, man, my frustration with this team and, and this coach, man. So, man, I hope to God. I don't know what, you know, with this draft pick. If we do get a draft pick, what is probably going to go to the Raiders? Because we still owe them for the Khalil Mack trade, you know. But, man, I don't see the. You can forget about playoffs this year. I don't think he's going to even make it to the wild card. Not even the wild card. You can forget about it. You know, they're a one-hit wonder. And every like everybody said this, this is... You know, I mean, I have lost out of words with this team. I'm sick and tired of with this team, but I'm not going nowhere. I'm not abandoning my team. I'm going to stick with the team. So, man, so this is King Pookie letting my frustrations out of this team, and I'll see you in the next video.